We all use the Play Store to download apps or games, but few people know that the Play Store has settings enabled by default that track your actions, for example in apps and on your phone, and then send this information to developers. There are two reasons to change this. The first is our privacy, and the second is that these functions quickly drain the battery because they work in the background. In today's video, I'll show you 7 settings you should change in the Play Store to increase your privacy and make your phone work longer on one charge. Welcome to my channel and let's dive in! To find the first one, open Play Store on your phone. After that, in the upper right hand corner of the screen, tap on your profile photo. And here, scroll down a little bit to Personalization in Play, tap on that. After that, tap on Other Play Personalization Options. And here the first setting is your device details, that is, do you allow the Play Store application to use information about your device. In general, you can leave this feature enabled, because uh, there is no sensitive information here, but if you want maximum privacy, you can disable it. Then below you can see your Play content, and here you can tap Manage, tap on Manage. This setting allows us to choose the history of which applications Play Store will collect and use for personalization, that is for displaying ads, offers and so on, and I recommend turning off here for example banking applications and applications in which we correspond, for example Gmail, Whatsapp and so on, to increase privacy. Now I'll show you which applications I turn off. First one contacts, because this application has access to my contacts. After this, scroll down Gmail, next one Messages, and next one Instagram, if you have Messenger, Phone by Google, application for making calls, Viber, if you use, and Telegram, if you have this application and also WhatsApp. Then go to the next setting, tap back, then tap back again, after that scroll all the way down, and tap here My Ad Center. This feature collects information about what we do in applications and on websites, in order to show us personalized ads. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see what information already has collected. If you don't uh, want to see these personalized ads and don't uh, want to share information about us, then this feature can be turned off. For this, tap on this switch and tap Turn off. After that, tap Garret. To find the next setting, tap Back, tap Back again. After that, in the upper right hand corner of the screen, tap on your profile photo again. Here scroll down and select Settings. Then tap on General and select Account and Device Preferences. And here turn off emails from Google Play, to avoid receiving any advertising emails from the Play Store. Further, tap back, scroll down to next feature, App Install Optimization. This feature sends information to Google about what part of the application you are using, and it also drains the battery faster, so we turn this off. Next step, scroll all the way down and tap About. After that, scroll down a little bit and tap on Play Store version 7 times, until you see notification that the developer mode is turned on. Now developer options in Play Store is turned on. To find this settings, scroll all the way up, tap on General. Here scroll down a little bit to developer options, tap on that. And here you can see feature Internal App Sharing. This feature allows you to install test version of applications, or automatically update already installed applications to test versions that may not comply with uh, Google Play rules, work incorrectly and be dangerous for our phone, so if you have this feature enabled, then disable it. To find the last feature which I recommend turn off in this video, tap back, tap back again, then tap on your profile photo, and select Play Protect. After that, in the upper right hand corner of the screen, tap on gear icon. And here you can see two features scan apps with Play Protect and improve harmful app detection. 
First feature scans our phone application and warns us about malicious applications. This is very useful feature, so we leave it enabled. But next one, improve harmful app detection. This feature sends information to Google about the applications we use. So to increase privacy and make the phone work longer on one charge, we turn off this feature. As a bonus, I will show you one more setting in Play Store on how to optimize applications so that they do not drain the battery of our phone too quickly. But first head to Main Settings, after that select Battery, here scroll down to Battery Usage and tap on View Details. Then scroll down to Apps and here you will see a list of applications that drain the battery the most. Each application can be optimized so that it uses less battery power, but it is important to understand that you should optimize only the applications you installed yourself. It is better not to optimize system applications, for example, like Google Play services or Google Play Store because this can negatively affect the performance of your phone. I am not saying that it will be broken, but some functions may not work as they should. Therefore, if you decide to optimize system applications, that is, those that were pre-installed on the phone, make sure you really know what you are doing. So, now we know which applications use the most battery power. Then, go to Play Store on your phone. After that, tap on your profile photo, then scroll down and select Help and Feedback. Here scroll all the way down, tap on Search and type Delete. And you can find Delete apps on your Android device, tap on that. Then select Tap to go to Application Settings. Here open application which consumes a lot of battery and see if optimization is enabled. For example, let's open this application. After that scroll down to battery. And here if you see unrestricted, then select optimized. Now this application will consume less battery and the phone will work longer on one charge. Also, if you don't know whether it is worth optimizing some application, whether it will affect its operation, then you can enter the application in Google search and find out information about it. By changing these 7 settings, we made our phone more private, which is very important today. We also turned off some background functions. These functions use battery and can make the phone slow. Now the phone works longer on one charge. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new helpful videos. Thanks to everyone supporting my channel, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to support as well, you can do so via the link in the description. Thanks for watching.